today we are discussing about the dental radiograph to further proceed we have to define what are x-rays 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 are that rays that can pass through a certain solid object and leave a shadowy image of that object on a fluorescent screen dental radiograph types of image of dentition and oral cavity which result from the penetration of a high energy electromagnetic radiation through dense body structure to form an image on a dental fin. Pictures showing position of a film teeth and central ray of the X-ray beam in a parallel technique. Types of dental X-rays divided into two main categories. Number one, intraoral. Number two, extraoral. Pictures showing intraoral technique and number two extraoral technique intraoral x-rays radiograph produced by placing a radiographic film within the oral cavity there are three types of intraoral x-rays number one bite wing x-rays number two periapical x-rays number three occlu occlusal x-rays first of all we have to discuss about bite wing radiographs a types of dental radiograph that reveal the crown, neck, and coronal third of the root of the both the upper and lower posterior teeth as well as the dental arches. Indication number one: show detail of upper and lower teeth in one area of the mouth. Number two: to detect proximal caries. Number three: detect the change in the bone density caused by gum diseases. Number four. Also useful in determining the proper fit of a crown or cast partial cast restoration. Number five and filling and the marginal integrity of filling. Periapical radiograph. A radiograph showing both apices and surrounding structures. It also detects the changes in the bone surrounding the root of the teeth. Pictures showing periapical radiograph. Difference from bite wing is that in a periapical x-rays the whole tooth is shown from the crown down part the end of the root to the part of the jaw where the tooth is anchored. Indication number one to detect any abnormalities of the root structures and surrounding bone structures to visualize periapical regions in the diagnosis of periapical pathologies. Number four to study crown and root length of and tooth morphology number five selection of cases of rct means root canal therapy during and after rct number six to elevate root apex formations occlusal radiograph an intraoral radiograph made with the film placed on the occlusal surface of the dental arches we show the relationship of the tooth to the underlying structure in the alveolar process such as cyst and abscess Indication number one to study maxillary and mandibular arches, number two to determine the buccolingual position of impacted teeth, number three evolution of fracture of the jaw with displacement, number four localization of object in maxillary sinus, number five to locate slivery stone in the duct of submandibular gland, number six to examine cleft pal. Now we have we further. <laughs> Now we further proceed to extraoral radiograph. Radiograph produced by placing a radiographic film outside the oral cavity. There are five types of extraoral radiograph. Number one, panoramic radiograph, which are also known as P or PG. Number two, tomograph. Number three, cephalometric projections. Number four, cialography. Cial Number five, computed tomography CT scans. Orthopentogram (OPG) An OPG is an X-ray of the upper and the upper and the lower jaw. It show a two-dimensional view of a half circle from air to air. Indication: Indication, diagnosis and treatment, planning of impacted wisdom teeth, periodontal bone loss, and periapical involvement. Finding the source of dental pain, assessment for placement of the dental implant, orthodontic assessment, pre and post eruptive, 
caries detection especially in interdental regions carcinomas in relation of the jaw tmj joint dysfunction and ankylosis cephalogram a radiograph of head including the mandible in full lateral views used to make measurement indication in orthodontic diagnosis and treatment planning in classification of the skeletal and dental abnormalities in establishing fa facial types in evolution of treatment result in predicting growth related changes and changes associated with surgical treatment valuable aid in the search work involving the cranio cranio dental dentofacial le regions thank you